they will not tell anybody. I mean, how could you have a government that's covering up where all the, this money that they've created out of nothing is going? And, and they excuse that by saying, well, if the people knew where the, we were putting the money, then they'd think that we were giving it to banks that were suddenly having financial problems. There could be runs on those banks. And, and that's why we can't possibly let the public know what we're doing with their money. But I don't even know where the money came from. They certainly didn't didn't borrow it because there's not that much money around to borrow. Where did they get all this money that they're putting out, Bob? They created it out of thin <coughs> out of thin air, like they always do. And that's why the Fed has to be audited. It's incredible what's going on, and they've been going it for years and years and years and years. And unless we stop them, they're going to continue it. They, they have created these boom-bust cycles, recessions, depressions, and they continue to loot the public. And they will continue to do it unless we stop them. Well, you know, it's been said that there's nothing new under the sun. And, of course, if people will go and read my three-part uh, uh, newsletter, Radio Liberty newsletter, on Andrew Jackson. He fought this same battle back in 1830, between about 1832 and 1836. And I read his farewell address, which is what my articles of my writings about. And Andrew Jackson's battle with the second central bank of the United States. Well, the third central bank's in there. They don't call it a central bank, but a central bank is a privately owned bank. Uh, and his whole job is to convince the public it's really answerable to them and it's there for their benefit, but it's not. Andrew Jackson said it. It's, the, it's for the benefit of the bankers, for the profit of the bankers, and they at that time had bought up the congressman, they'd bought up his vice president, uh, they'd bought up the newspapers, they owned everything, and uh, you know they simply controlled the government. And Andrew Jackson told the American people, it's either the central bank and no Jackson or Jackson and no central bank. I'm sure you know the story better than I do, Bob, but to me it's, it's great to know that at least in our history we've had men of true integrity in positions of power. Well, you stated uh, what they've been doing, and um, I think what hurt the... European nobility more than anything else was the uh, revolution which lost them the United States which was a precious asset and um, they've never forgiven us for it and uh, through the banking system uh, they tried to control us and they have through the Federal Reserve Act because uh, a good many of the owners of the Federal Reserve Bank offices uh, I should say banks are uh, owned by foreigners. And so, uh, you know, they continue to keep their foot in the door. But no, none of these th things happen uh, coincidentally. I mean, they're all planned. I mean, they do what they want to do. I'm sure they do. Well, their telephone number, of course, is one triple eight two four liberty or four six four eight two nine five. One triple eight two four liberty or four six four eight two nine five. And people have to understand they are continuing to intentionally transfer our jobs overseas. And as we pointed out, why well, certainly General Motors, within the last four weeks, has announced it's opening a great new plant to employ a lot of people in in China, another one in India. I said, and he, uh, Ford has made the same announcement. It's opening a new plant in China and one in the India to produce something called a Figo, F-I-G-O, a new car. And, and, and Chrysler is opening new plants in Mexico and in, uh, in, in um, Italy. Uh, but what about the plants here in America? I thought that's what we were trying to do. Isn't the Obama administration trying to get the plants here in the United States? And the answer is, of course not. Uh, but you're not supposed to know that. Uh, you're supposed to believe what they tell you. It reminds me of that old old skit with, uh, you know, Groucho Marx and his wife comes home and finds him in the arms of this voluptuous woman. And he jumps out of bed and shouts, are you going to believe what I tell you or are you going to believe your lying eyes? And unfortunately, an awful lot of people believe their lying eyes. Because uh, after all, our leaders wouldn't lie to us, would they? But look and see what's happening. 
How many jobs did we lose this last month? Was another a couple hundred thousand jobs, or what? Over 9.8 percent unemployment. Where are all those new jobs they promised? And they're not coming. There are no. none. There are none. No, and uh, international finance and uh, transnational conglomerates continue to move the jobs out of the country, the profits into offshore tax havens where they pay no American taxes, and their excuse is we can't compete otherwise. Well, sure we can. All we have to do is put up tariffs on goods and services. Companies like IBM that will be almost totally out of the U.S. market as far as having facilities in America, it'll be over maybe next year, but their goal was this year. And, you know, who needs them? If they want to ship into the United States, let them pay the tariffs. Right now, they employ slave labor, labor throughout the world, making the same products we used to make for ourselves. The whole thing is insanity, unless you're a greedy glutton like they are, and the Federal Reserve is. And uh, so we've got to stop it. If we don't stop it, it's over for you, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to fight in the streets. Either that or you're going to live in some internment camp. There's your choices. And uh, it doesn't get any more difficult than that. Well, I think that it should be obvious today that the administration keeps talking about how concerned they are about the people. Oh, we're going to really help those people to keep from losing their homes. But about 300,000 people are losing their homes every month. For about 300,000 people. And, well, we've got all these government programs to help the little guy. Oh, we're so concerned about the little guy. No, ladies and gentlemen, they do not want to help him, but they can't tell that. Uh, they want, of course, the banks to foreclose, and, of course, what we're seeing is the greatest transfer of wealth in, in the history of the world. As the wealth of our nation is being transferred into the hands of a very, very few people. Well, uh, we have John from Idaho on the line. John, just hang on there. But our guest is, is certainly Robert Chapman, the international forecaster. One more time, your telephone number, Bob? 800-375-4188. That's 800-375-4188. You hang on there. We'll be with John in just a moment right here at Radio Liberty. I'm an account of what they've got, then forget it. Okay, does that answer your question, John? I had one more. Uh, you didn't finish up about if a person had mortgage yet. Uh, you were citing the example of 100000 Does that become 33 Or um, he said he didn't want to go don't there? Don't know. Just don't know. We don't know what they're going to do. I gave you logic. Mm -hmm. uh, they're not logical. Uh, uh, they're criminals. The only thing to do is have uh, precious metals stored in your safe at home or buried deep in your backyard. Something like well, that. Well, I, I think that's a good thought. <laughs> uh, you, but uh, don't tell us where you hid it. Okay, God bless. I won't Thanks. tell you where my backyard is. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Well, Thank we you. have Bob on the line from Ohio, but we're not going to get to him. We're out of time. Bob. Chapman, thanks so much. Bob from Ohio, you can call this evening. We do a program. It'll be, of course, Eastern Time from 11 to 1, but 11 to 11 to 12, but you can give us a call there. We'd love to talk to you. So thanks so much for calling, Bob. Maybe my producer can I'll pick up the uh, line there. I'm going to uh, transfer over to him, um, and uh, certainly hope that uh, Bob will call this evening. Anyway, God bless. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, fine.